Oh my god, I just wasted my one shot macro. What a fucking fail. How you doing? What is up guys and girls, welcome back to Matrix Gaming Channel. My name is Jacob and welcome back to another World of Warcraft Worlds of Draenor PvP video as a Frost Mage. Alright, enough about that bullshit. Let's continue on to the actual part of the video. Okay, in this video, I will tell you how to open with pr Prismatic Crystal in WOD. My previous guide, I told you that it sucked badly, but when I said that, I didn't even test it out yet, okay? Then I got some feedback, and I love to hear your feedback, because it, without your feedback, I wouldn't have made this video. So thank you guys for the feedback, okay? So let's just continue on. Um, I told you Prismatic Crystal sucked pretty much, uh, but when I said that, I didn't even test it out. So I thought to myself that was a huge fail, so I thought, about, I thought that I would be making a video just pretty much telling you guys what um, what this is and how you can open with it. Okay, it seems a bit sketchy in some cases, and it is because you want to make sure that your target is standing still. Okay, if they are not standing still, you will fail quite a lot, and I'm not even kidding. Okay, so if you place Prismatic Crystal, then they can just easily, if it's Hunter Disengage, or a Rogue Sprint, or a Warrior Leap of Faith, I don't know. They will do all that they can to get away from this Prismatic Crystal. So you want to make sure they're stunned, they're rooted, they're like trapped in some ways while you do this, okay? So you don't want to place it right at the beginning, but if you got your Deep Freeze time correctly and your Ring of Frost, which traps them pretty much because if they move aside it, they will get freezed as well. So you want to, what you want to do is that you want us to start out very nicely as you always do, uh, get into combat, prog up some ice land, and some frost balls, don't die, and just trap them. And when they're trapped and your incasus flow is uh, stacked to the max, then you can start opening um, like a crazy bastard. Okay. So what I recommend you to go with is, uh, uh, when these talents is the ring of frost, they can trap them. Ice Nova is so important with this rotation, it just does so much damage and Inkaisa's flow is also great, if you ask me. It just uh, is a passive, it increases your damage quite a lot and Pers Prismatic Crystal of course. <laughs> oh shit. So what you also want to do is that you want to have the Glyph of Splitting Ice. What this does is that it will split your Ice Lens into two balls. The first one will do normal damage and the second one will do 50% um, damage of your normal uh, Ice Lens, okay? So what you do is that if I place my ice stance, let's just pretend my water elemental is my let's just pretend my water elemental is my prismatic crystal. If I target, uh, if I hit my water elemental, all the damage that my water elemental will take, the prismatic crystal, of course, will get uh, um, split. And my, nine, no, 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 will do 10% increased damage to all enemies around that target, of, of up to a total of eight yards. So that's pretty much what Prismatic Crystal does, is that it will increase the damage by a total of 10% and it will make it AOE. So that's very, very good if you ask me, okay? So you want to have the Glyph of Spitting Eyes, because if you hit the Prismatic Crystal, then it will do 110% uh, damage from your Eye Stance if it's procced, and then the second one will hit Shamanizer as well. So that's a nice way of doing extra damage to one single target, okay? And also, Ice Nova, if it hits the target, it will do... AoE damage around the target um, at the first at first hit, and then it will also do extra damage on the second hit because you like two targets combined into one. I hope you guys can hear me, and I will show you in just a second how this works. Okay, there's also a little little macro for this. It's very simple. Uh, just show tooltip, cast prismatic crystal, and when that happens, you automatically target your prismatic crystal in any way. But it makes you you have to type in slash target prismatic crystal. If you don't do this, it won't work. What I mean about this is that you will also end it with slash target last target. So if um, if prismatic crystal is fading and it is uh, disappearing, then you want to go back to your uh, to your main target in the first place, which in this case is shamanizer. So huge shout out to shamanizer by the way for doing this for me. I couldn't have done it without you. So thank you so much. Okay, so with if Prismatic Crystal is away, then you can just press it the action bar while it's on cooldown again to get back to your main target and start doing proper damage to your main target without Prismatic Crystal is up. Okay, so it's very simple. I'll, I'll put a link in the description, another link. I'll put all the details I've said in the description below. Okay, so you can go check a look at that later on. So what I'm trying to do here is that I, I'm basically just gonna uh, open 
as I used to in arenas. So what I'm gonna do is that you wanna buff yourself, you wanna make sure your ice bear is up, you wanna make sure everything is up when you go into arenas. Okay, this is my target, I'm invisible, this is pretend I'm invisible and I uh, will slowly be opening. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to use Frozen Orb. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is probably just to freeze my target, to just make her stand still. But in this case I'm just gonna use Frozen Orb, okay? Frozen Orb, offensive cooldowns, Ring of Frost maybe, to stand still. Then I'm gonna place Prismatic Crystal, okay? And then I'm gonna make sure that I can press it again to defreeze her. And I'm gonna use uh, Ice Nova, Ice Lands. Okay, that just went way too quick. So I'm gonna really tell you how I did this, okay? So I went into arenas. Okay, there you go. I I used uh, Frozen Orb as, in the be as the beginning to get some procs up. I used Ice Veins to get some damage out. I used um, uh, my freeze was on cooldown because my uh, water missile used uh, water jet instead. I don't really give a fuck because I, I wasn't in need of that. So I pretty much trapped her inside a ring of frost. Okay, then um, I used Deep Freeze. Okay, I used Deep Freeze to, to stun her even more. Then I used Prismatic Crystal atop her, and then it automatically um, target um, the Prismatic Crystal. And then I just went all in with two Ice Noves in a row, and as well as a bunch of Ice Lances. It's just so OP. Okay, it's just so OP, and the the combo is breathtaking. And I'll put a link, not a link, I'll put all the information you need is in the description below, guys. We can go and take a look at how to open everything I just said. I will put it in the description below where you can go and take a look at it. Take a look at it a second time so you will have a much better time to understand. This was just a way of showing you how much damage it does. And as you can see, we already have, we already have Prismatic Crystal back on. So let's just pretend we're back again. I'm going to duel her one more time. Um, okay. Hope this work. Hope it works this time. So what we're gonna do is to pretty much uh, wait for her to respawn. Come on, Shamanizer, please respawn. Uh, so you want to go in. You want to open with all your shit, and the duel is about to start. Great. So we want to open. Uh, frozen up. One shot macros. Um, Ring of Frost. Deep freeze. Prismatic crystal. Two ice novas and just spam your ice lands, but now they're not even proc, but it will kill her anyway, okay? Just wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> okay, that was a slow way of opening because I didn't get any procs. That's why it's sketchy to go with, uh, but you just have to get used to it. In arenas, just uh, if you're over Skype, that's a very good benefit because then you can like talk about or chat, I don't know, um, how you communicate. But just make sure that you know that that the target is rooted or stunned, whatever, when you do this. Because if they can just move away from it, and then it's a huge fail in my opinion. But this is also very good in BGs, um, if it's flag carry. Just make sure that your target is uh, stuck to the ground while you do this. Because your prismatic ghost will not stay up for that long. So it's a good way to just get out some damage really, really quick in my opinion. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, remember to thumbs it up. It always helps. And this was just the beginning of many more tutorials, guides, whatever. Many more PvP videos coming up. And I will, as well as other games, other uh, video projects coming up in the next few weeks. So stay tuned for that. I have a lot of uh, great ideas um, incoming. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed. And see you guys in the next one. I love you all. Bye-bye, guys.